Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit the map on Dreamy X50 Ultra. To do it, click on this button right here, the one with the map and the pencil. Now, you can do different things here. You can rename your map. You can back it up and restore it. When you back it up and click on confirm, it'll just be saved into your account. So later on, if something happens to the map, then you'll be able to restore it. Um, so you don't have to just remap it again, edit it again and everything. You can partition rooms if you'd like to split a room into two. Uh, to do that, click on room partition, click on OK. And now select a room that you'd like to edit. For example, this one. And I can match it with this one if I were to do that. So let's select two and click on merge, then approve. I can divide by selecting a room to divide and drawing a line of division. I can hide a room, then I don't really want to do it, and I can rename a room, so let's click on the room, tap on rename, and I can set a custom name or one of the available names here. So that's how you can do it, mm, I think that's pretty easy. Now more things is uh, floor material if you'd like to change it, so let's click on the b bathroom for example and you can change the floor material. You can set it to tile floor, floor horizontal or vertical. It's gonna change the path of cleaning um, or others. So it's just up to you. Then you can also um, change the no-go zones and virtual walls. So let's do that. That is pretty interesting. Um, you can do a virtual wall, so if there's no wall but you don't want a robot to go past that wall, you can simply draw it like that. Let's say I want the wall to be here. And now it's done. I can add a no-go zone, so if I don't want the robot to go into the zone here, then it won't go here. And I can add a no mop zone, so it won't mop at this selected zone. So that's how you can do it. Now it's edited. Then you can add furniture if you like. So you can basically add a single bed uh, somewhere here. That's a little too small for a bed to actually exist, but yeah. You can add a double bed, you can do whatever here. Add furniture so it all works well. Mm. Then you can also add um, cleaning order if you like a threshold or um, a ramp. And there will be a passable threshold and impassable one and a ramp. So um, that is also really, really great. Then uh, it's going to be a carton. You can add a carton so it won't go on the carton. I think that's also pretty great. You can add a low clearance areas. Uh, so the robot is more cautious that there's low clearance and it may not fit there. And carpet mm, as well. And you can do a multi-floor map arrangement. Um, you can just... If you have multi-floor, then you can select multi-floor and add another map. And then when you remove the robot from one to another floor, then it'll know which floor is it. But I'll move it in into single floor. And that's about it. I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.